Welcome back to my FIFA 15 Arsenal career mode. Gosh, it's been almost a decade since I said that. This is part two. We are going to sim the entire season. But of course, we're going to take a look a little bit more in detail in what career had to offer then. Um, because oh, it, is, it is strange. I mentioned it in part one. If you haven't watched it, I uploaded that on Friday. Um, gameplay wise, at least, it, it just isn't very good genuinely and it made me realize that the current game whilst it's not perfect whilst it's not even great it is a lot better um we also made two signings we got a bamiyang in he's gonna be playing up front aguero's gone to ben uh benzema gone to real madrid and i was looking at benzema surely now they would be willing to do a, a cheaper deal maybe but also we got john stones in is this team capable of winning the premier league Nah, I don't think so. Who remembers this? You could do your split manually. Now you can't do that. Your budget is just one big pile of cash and there's not much you can do about it. Although it doesn't add too much to the game, just having more control. It, it would be nice to just be able to say, look, I'm buying a player cheap because he's older, but his wages are higher. I'm just going to do this. Or... I'm spending a lot of money on a youngster who's worth a lot of, of money to the club, but his his contract's going to be lower. Then you're going to do this. More control, please, EA. Why was this taken out? It, it really doesn't make sense. And I really miss this screen here where everything is just in one area. You don't have to go between different tabs. You can obviously filter by age, name, position, whatever you want to do. It's just a lot clearer. Now... The current form of this isn't too bad. The squad hub. I just don't like how it's set into four categories when just let it take up the whole page. We don't need to see the player on the right. You know, that's what they do now. You have the player standing there wobbling a little bit and blinking. Oh, that's cool. But I want all the data on screen. OK, this is this is easy. And I'm just seeing Jenkinson. Oh, my God. This is just hilarious, though. This hasn't changed at all. We're looking at a kind of. Um, global scout report here, looking at all the players that could be a good fit. Oh my God, Halilovic. He was an absolute career mode gem, wasn't he? And now, I can't remember where he's playing now, but he went on loan. He was in the championship with Birmingham for a while or something. Oh my God, there's Kepper as well. Oh, it's so funny. But um, this hasn't changed. This is literally the exact same design as it is in the current game, just with a bit of a facelift. This is going to be exactly the same as what... Yep. <laughs> 10 years and this literally is the exact same design with a facelift. It's all the same. Everything's in the same spot. I feel right at home here, which is kind of shocking. You've got scout instructions, exactly the same. I recently did this. It's, again, a little bit... A little bit different. Wasn't there... Look, see, I knew it! In the QPR career mode, I'm looking for a free kick specialist and I went to do this because this was in the game for a long time and they removed it because, yeah, why not? We've got player contracts in a separate spot so you can see who's your highest paid, who's got the longest contract, all of that stuff. Okay, and then you've got youth staff. This is going to be exactly the same. Yeah, look at that. It is literally the exact same. It's copy-paste with crisp HD-ness. Yeah, it's a little bit embarrassing, that, isn't it? I'm guessing we don't have any jobs right now, but this is exactly the same. No changes there. Looks exactly the same. The request funds thing, that's so funny. Will, will they let? I did it in part one, and they said no. After winning the trophy, the Community Shield, will they give me five mil if I win both? Let's see. Let's go ahead and sim a couple of games whilst we wait for the board to come back to me. I'm guessing it'll take a couple of days. Did we beat Crystal Palace? No, we drew one all. And yeah, it's too early. Player injured. Sanchez out for four days. That's fine. Right, we're going to sim until January and we'll see where we are. Right now, after one game, 
We're in sixth. And let me just check who's in the table, who's in the league. And look, it almost fit in. I hated the fact that you had to scroll down for two more clubs. Why couldn't they squeeze all 20 in? There's a massive grey bar at the top there, which they could have got rid of. Um, there's loads of space at the bottom of the screen. So stupid, isn't it? But anyway, we've got West Ham's old badge there as well. But Burnley are in the league still there. Swansea, QPR, Hull City, West Brom, Sunderland... Stoke. Oh my God. I'm just comparing the speed of calendar simming and my God, this is fast. Although I'm playing on PC and of course with it being a very beefy PC and an older game, which isn't obviously hard to run, I would expect it to be quick, but um, it's not exactly slow, is it, in the current game? It's, it's pretty much okay. By the way, we might not even make it to the end of the season. I've got to get top four and win the FA Cup. It's very possible I get fired if we're, you know, eighth or something like that by January. We don't have any European football, of course, because um, I didn't set that up. Were we in European football in 2015? I think we were. Didn't we win the FA Cup as well? I think we did. Okay, so looking here, it's a lot of wins. Let's see. Whoa, okay. 39 points. That's actually quite surprising. Welbeck is our top scorer. <laughs> He's the league top scorer, no less. That is absolutely hilarious. And notice how this hasn't changed either. It's exactly the same. The same font, the same spacing between everything. You press RB to go to assists. And we've got Sanchez there. Clean sheets. And let me guess, yellow and red cards? Oh, yellow, red cards. Oh, Interesting how that's exactly the same a decade later. Okay, so let's have a look at some of my player ratings. Aubameyang hasn't played enough because, of course, he's a right mid. And I don't think there's a way to train him. We'll have a look in a second. Stones has gone up to 77 rated. That's good. That's very good, actually. But it would seem that we're getting carried by Danny Welbeck. So here we've got the squad report where you can see their status with the club, injury, suspension, how many goals, assists, their average uh, match score. And you can see the attributes as well, where they're doing well. Look at that. John Stones is actually doing so well. He will be very, very good after a few seasons. Alexis Sanchez growing a little bit. As far as I can see, though, guys, <laughs> there's no way to train. There's there's nothing. I don't think there's there's a way to change their position at all. Scout instruction, shortlist, transfer negotiations. Then you've got your office. That is actually a bit mental if you think about it. You can't even do training. I mean, that's crazy. And I completely forgot about that. The whole um, development plans thing, changing position. I mean, that's all somewhat recent. Oh, it's absolutely crazy to me that we can't even do that. All right, let's get to the end of the season. What I'm going to do is sim until... Oh, actually, hang on. That game against Manchester United. Imagine if that's a game where if we win it, we win the league. I'm going to risk it for a biscuit and just sim there. Let's see if we make it. I'm not making any changes to the squad. We might be losing players. For all I know, we could be receiving an offer and a player gets sold here. It is what it is. Wait, did we beat Tottenham? And yes, we did. 3-0 away. Of course we did. Back to the Manchester United game. We are into a cup game there against Hull City. I'm guessing we've progressed there. Or not. Where's the next game? Did we actually get knocked out by Hull? Who we beat in an FA Cup final not long before this. There it is. Everton. Gosh, this is really quick, isn't it? And... I miss seeing whether it's green, red, or grey to show you if you got wins or not. And there's Man City. Wait. Okay, so that is an FA Cup final. So where are we in the league? Get your predictions in your head right now. We're in an FA Cup final against Man City. And in the league, my prediction is third. I reckon we're third. Let's see. We won the Community Shield. Third! There we go. So we can't win the league. That's definitely not possible. Chelsea are going to win that. Going down, Hull City and Southampton most likely. And then it's Swansea, Leicester, West Ham. Any of those guys could drop down. Well, 
I guess we're playing Man City at Wembley again. And I will try my absolute best to get more than one goal for you, okay? Even if it means conceding one. <laughs> um, I didn't notice any new players other than Sami Kadira there. He was a great player for Madrid, wasn't he? So it looks like they've signed him. And it's Vincent Company, Mangala, Clichy. Yeah, it looks like it's all the same. And obviously, it's the exact same team for me as well. Hopefully, we'll get another win. Meza Ozil here. Great run. Up to Theo Walcott. Go on, son. Oh, what a tackle from company. Actually, no, that's a red card. Just like in the Community Shield in part one, guys. You saw that. Wilfred Bonney got the ball, but still got sent off. <laughs> uh, that was pretty shocking, to be fair. What? Oh, my. No way. What did Gibbs just do? I'm quite literally there with the ball. I'm trying to pass it back to Chesney to then clear it. And then out of nowhere, he kind of stumbles with it. Sami Kadira gets the shot away and then Dzeko hammers it home. Well, I did say there'd be more than one goal in today's game, but I meant winning two or three nil, not losing. Come off it. Wake up. Nice. Overlap from Debushi here. It's going to have to be a cross. That's got to be a foul, surely. Ref, come on. Debushi, has got, got an injury. He's holding his shoulder, I think. Oh, please don't tell me I'm going to have to make a sub. It'll be like having 10 men myself. I don't have another right back. I do have Hector Bellerin on the reserves, but he's like 65 rated or something. So probably wouldn't be a good idea to play him in an FA Cup final. Where is Debushi? Yeah, he's... Wait, where is he? Is he is he just down on the floor? Oh, he's, he's just standing there. <laughs> Why would he just stand there like that? That's hilarious. Is Aubameyang? Oh, God, the first touch was horrendous. Okay, look, mate, if you're just going to stand there, we should probably take him off. I've got Gabriel. All right, Stones can absolutely play at right back. I believe he did it once or twice at Everton. And whilst he's one of the best centre-backs slash... DMs slash striker slash right wing. <laughs> he's um, he's going to have to do us a job at right back. Guys, if I told you that Debushi is still standing up there, would you believe me? Because he is. We are unable to get the ball out of play because I can't get it off City. And they're not going to put the ball out of play. So Debushi is still standing there crying and holding his shoulder. <laughs> the game should just stop like it does now. He's still just standing there. I'm blown away by that. I mean, that's awful. There we go. He, he, he's off, finally. And Gabriel comes on. <laughs> that's just hilarious. So, back then, there was nothing in the code to just stop the game if, if a player was done for. And um, get the sub on. They, they just stand there. Dead. Goal. Yes! I was just about to say Aubameyang should have gone down. I think we would have got a penalty, but I've got the cross in. And Alexis Sanchez is there. Oh, I like this replay. This angle's great. That's one thing I don't like about the current game. All that hyper motion, stupid replays, angles. Nah, just give me a simple broadcast replay. Just like that, please. Oh, no. Oh, my God. It's 2-1 to City. I told you it would be a better game. But again, I, I wasn't anticipating losing this. Yet, here we are. Okay, well, it's a good cross. Not much Chesney could do about that. Four goals in the FA Cup for Dzeko. Two of them against me in the final, of course. We've got 20 minutes to go. Possession is definitely in City's favour. They've been much, much better in this game than they were in that Community Shield game. I want to try a long shot here, but I'm not even going to get a chance. Go away, Yaya Torre. And Kadira as well, by the way. So good. Play on. No, give me the foul. That's one thing I don't like in the current game. Free kicks. They suck. Is this going to be better? Probably not. It actually is much better. It was just quicker. I don't know what it is about whipping in crosses from that kind of position in the current game. It just... just kind of like chips in so lightly I don't know the whole free kick system needs work in my opinion 
Here's Meza again. I really want to try a long shot. Here we go. Finesse. Oh my god, I thought that went in. That genuinely looked like it was floating into that top left corner. What a shame. We've probably got time for one, maybe two chances. Come on. Into Aubameyang. This is good. Back to Aubameyang again. Oh! Pen, ref! Pen! Please! How many minutes added on are we going to get? Two. Make it make sense. There was five minutes added on in the community shield and it was 1-0. <laughs> and I've had Debushi injured for about 20 minutes in this game. We've been robbed. We've been absolutely robbed. Uh, City have beaten us in the FA Cup. No! Uh, get out! No. Don't want to know. Uh. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> okay, let's finish this season now. Hopefully we get third place and we don't get knocked down. I didn't see how many points we were from fourth. But there we go. That is the season done. We do finish third place. That's not bad. An FA Cup final, third place in the Premier League. Champions League football next season, that would be. But thank you for watching this kind of throwback, guys. It was interesting to go back and play FIFA 15. Let me know if you'd like me to go back further. Maybe there's a way I can play kind of even older games. I think I might have to get out an old console because I think this is the oldest game I could download on the EA platform. So I don't know. We'll maybe take a look at that. Or maybe I try something completely different. Maybe um, there's a, a manager type game that came out 20 years ago or whatever or 15 years ago that I can try just again to see what it's like to go back in time and um, we'll see. Thank you for watching guys and I will see you for the brand new season in the QPR career mode tomorrow.